Kosrayan's a, a renowned, well, Kosrayan Island, and because of its people, are renowned for being the, the cleanest people in all of all of Micronesia. Every morning you will find um, women, kids, whatever, out their front yards before they go to school, before they do any work, raking up all the leaves that blow in off the beach, um, drop down dead leaves that drop down off their breadfruit trees. Um, they're just very, very clean people. If you go into any of their houses, their floors are always spotless. They always take off their, their shoes before entering the house. <clears throat> I think it may have come from the, the time when the Japanese had settled here between World War I and World War II. Kosrai is a, is a hard, hard sell as a tourist destination, mainly because uh, people are going to other known destinations like Palau and Yap, Guam, etc. Kosrai has its own uniqueness. Unfortunately for us to get the word out to the to the world of how beautiful and everything else it is that we and the things that we do have here, uh, we still have limited number of tourists coming in. These are the tangerines. The tangerines are locally grown. They're green they're, now. They're supposed to be orange, aren't they? No, these are the are orange. They but they're not really orange color, they look green. Can they, are they ready to eat? Yes. Coast ride tangerines. Coast ride tangerines. Hey. Hi. Mmm. Live and blow it. Wow. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Aren't you supposed to be in school? <laughs> <laughs> Justice, what are these? Those are uh, pantanus fruit. Pantanus. Pantanus. Those are commonly found on uh, low island atolls. Low island. And they are basically the, the kind of fruits that they, they use to chew on. And those are commonly found in the Marshall Islands. Like Marshall Islands are low atolls. And those are the common fruit for what them. Do, do you peel it or do you just chew, start chewing on it? You, Actually, you take the top off and chew it. How do you take the top off? You, you bite? get a knife you know, or chew bite it, it off. You bite it off. How's school? It's working. It's work. It's working. What do you mean it's working? Working. You're learning? Good. Do you guys play sports? Yeah. What sports do you play? Drag. Are you fast? No, not good. You're not fast? Is he fast? He's slow too? Oh, she's making a tree? Yes. And there's the hat. There's the hat. Eight dollars. We're trying all, all uh, weapons more like a sword where they used to, you know, when they fight. And they stick it in and just get this thing off and put another one in and... Yeah. And not with people, between people? Yes. You know, oh, they, they that's a real weapon, stick it to their... Uh, Stomach and oh, just break this off and put in another one in it. Oh, yeah, uh, break this off, you know. Uh, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, these ladies came here to work. Uh, they call themselves Tri Single Club. What is it called? Tri Single Club. Tri Single? Yeah. 
meaning. Cosmos of the Marcinka. So they just. <laughs> okay. They give their own name. I see. So what what they're doing is, they will weave these things and then they'll sell it here, and there are times that they will do it for demonstration. You could live in the States if you wanted, Justice. Yes. Why don't you? A lot of these people go, going out these States looking for jobs and... But why don't you go to the States and work there? If I decide to go to the States, I can do that. I would like to go to the States and work there someday. You would? Yes. Just to, for the experience? Just for the experience, yeah. But boy, I'll tell oh, you, you live in a so beautiful place here. Something for Why change. would you want to leave this, yeah. right? So how long have you been out here? Almost two years. Is that right? Uh -huh. And how do you like it? It's terrific. Are you kidding? How do you like it? This is a beautiful place. That's right. You can always be alone, and um, when you don't want to be alone, everybody's friendly, and there's no. almost no crime. And there's no hardly. Hardly. And as far as like the things that you might miss, there's no TV. I miss family a lot. Um, right. And other than that, you know, you get used to the shopping. You don't care about being kind of crazy, and stuff comes when it comes, and when it doesn't come, we, we improvise, and so that's okay. Um, what brings you out? My husband is the attorney general. They don't have very many people in Micronesia who are trained in law schools, and so Ron came out to. Um, he he is in charge of the police department, and he. Um, it helps him write contracts, and oh, his office nice. protects the state against lawsuits. And um, so, okay, where are you from? California, um, Kern County. Okay, Rickersville. more Californians. Yes, it's loaded with them. Well, because that's where that's where most of the recruiting goes on is California, and then depending on if in the office, if the Micronesian in your office maybe went to high school or college in Oklahoma, then they'll go to Oklahoma to recruit because they'll you know go visit people there. But in general, for cost-wise, getting people here from Hawaii or um, California is the cheapest, so. So where are you taking me now, Justice? We are going to uh, the Wea Bird Cave. Bird Cave? Bird Cave. Okay. There was once a big, enormous giant that lived out in this tunnel. He was so mean, furious, that no people ever wanted to get close to this giant, enormous giant. At one time, there were two very strong boys was trying to figure out how they're gonna kill this giant mean. Uh, giant. So there was one time they decided to come out here looking for this giant. At one time, at night time, they got inside here waiting for this giant to come out from his, from his shelter, from his home. As they were hiding, the giant came out looking for food to eat or something to eat. There was a story that going around the island that this giant would go around killing people to eat. So they, they were wondering, how are we gonna do this to kill this giant? So when they were out, they got these uh, weapons, uh, swords ready for him. As he was coming out from, from his search of food, they were hiding right in front of here. And as he was going into the opening of this, the, the, these two boys just got the swords and just, <clears throat> just cut right into the stomach. And they kill it right from there. And that's the end of this furious, mean giant that stay in this tunnel. <laughs>